Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to get all of our uh, Young Link here. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how that matchup usually goes. Alamar can kind of keep out Young Link really well, but he does get juggled pretty bad. But he can't kill Young Link really well. I don't know. It might be an even match. Even matchup, I would say. So yeah, let's take a look at the bracket for you guys for the quick and I just flashed it for a second. But yeah, we have so good pop over my team. Actually, never mind. We're gonna go right into it in just a sec. Yeah, yeah, young Link Olimar. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how this matchup goes. I kinda just like theory crafted it based off what char both characters can do, but I haven't really seen it played at like a decently level, decently high level. Mm -hmm. Nice. Four there one, track down. Yeah, like I expected, uh, Almar definitely gets comboed really hard. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, don't, I, know, I don't know. Uh, Iros is definitely doing a good job opening him up right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm curious how the uh, Pikmin interact with Young Link and his projectiles. They might just stop the projectiles if you can throw it in the right spot. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and also just like any any Pikmin that seemed to be landing on Young Link in general seemed to just fall off immediately. Uh, Young Link's got a lot of very active hitboxes all over the place, so you can just knock those Pikmin right off them very quick. Yeah, the more active your hitbox, the more you can actually get rid of Pikmin and not have to wear them. That's definitely the thing to put. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a big read. You know what I think? I think Kairos couldn't even tell which smash attack he was charging. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 that's the situation. Could definitely be a possibility here, but I mean, uh -oh. Oh, he's, oh, okay, he's not gonna make it back. I thought maybe he could have been able to mash off the up B, but Kairos with a little bit of a lucky break there uh, had that unfortunate early stock loss, but it doesn't matter. MFA gonna be able to get that SD, and uh, right now it's looking in their favor pretty good. These Pikmin just dying left and right, though. Yeah, the young like seems to not have a super hard time killing the Pikmin. Shoutouts to Aetherman for the raid of 21 viewers. Appreciate you, bye Aetherman. Yep, shoutouts to Aetherman, always playing on the show, plays him really well, especially in MSM. But, let's see, MFA, really a scary percent here, but yeah, he still does have the purple, so, oh, no, we're living. Yeah, the purple can still kill really early if he can utilize it right now, but it's gone and <laughs> he's immediately just death tilts him. Yeah, no, super good stuff from Kairos there, just continuing to apply this pressure. I think this is what we would have seen uh, from the very beginning had he not landed into that pretty well-charged uh, forward smash. But yeah, oh, no, yeah. Uh, Kairos definitely doing a good job building up this damage and applying this pressure nonstop. Wow, that tether grab reached from so far away. And uh, MFA is just trying to get his bearings here, but he's just getting hit by so many things. Oh, that was good. Okay, in the back there. Oh, down to the B. That was, be that, yeah, that was that was worth going just because like he knows. Okay, if I get this down tilt, this is the up B. This is true. He's already at the left side of the ledge, right? So easy one on that one. Good stuff to Kairos though. Taking game yeah. one. Kairos uh, just did not stop the aggression, man. Once he got a hit, like he took it so far, and like it, MFA just looked to be struggling to get out of disadvantage, which. To be fair, it's Almar. His disadvantage is pretty bad. Yeah. If he, especially if he can't use uh, whistle armor in any capacity. So, honestly, I guess the name of the game is for for MFA. Like he just can't be put in those situations where he's scared to even press a button in fear of just getting comboed. So, uh, we have we have to see what his adjustment's going to be here. Right. Gotta say though, it, it is get, it's really scary to play players that are very good at just overwhelming you and making you so that you can't really, you know, do much to stop them. And honestly, that's kind of what we saw from Kairos there. But uh, let's see. 
Town City for game two. Yep, that's what you want. <laughs> you want those up? Oh, oh. oh wow. Um, I, mean, I, I guess that is what you want. I'm not sure. I didn't even see what Kyro's buffered off stage or even press anything at all. But <laughs> take it. Well, unfortunate situation and a good break for MFA after that game one. Uh, I think that's like twice in a row now finding that early stock. And we'll have to see if Kairos can find a way to bunker down. And try to find a way to turn this back into their favor once again. Uh, facing an uphill battle, but they did it once. I'm sure they can do it twice. Yeah. Great Nair there. Going to be able to punch right through that option from Alomar. And that Nair just continuing to land with it and put that pressure onto Alomar. Just continuing Oof. to bully him. And oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Slap the hell out of the Pikmin and then grab Alamar and send him to the blast zone. Kairos just looking like a bully right now. Yeah, they did buff that forward throw from Young Link, but I honestly, honestly think MFA held out. But uh, I mean, okay. it, it, yeah, it could have been one or the other. <laughs> okay, gets the footstool there. Kairos, really good job of bringing this back, but man, there's that up smash out of shield. Definitely going super aggressive there. Not really working out in his favor. So MFA is going to hold on to this lead just a little bit. Oh, he didn't get the normal up smash. White up smash doesn't do enough knockback to combo at that percent. Okay. Still. Oh. Ooh, wow. wow. Great wow. patience. Going to wow. lead to a whole stock. Kairos, you bad man. That, that was actually like that so flashy. Like, there was nothing optimal about that whatsoever. Right. <laughs> it worked so well. Yeah, no, just like, uh, what, went from the jab 1-2, just ran into them as they were held shield, and then got the down tilt into that uh, hero spin. That was actually really, really nice. But anti-air, back air, purple back air, it's kind of just been MFA's ticket to just catching uh, these jumps from Kairos. Yeah, but, uh, I was yeah. going to say, like, Kairos does a really good job of being aggressive when he needs to be. But in that situation, I feel like he was a little bit too aggressive from the ledge, especially considering where MFA was. The fact that MSA, MFA was so much more towards center stage that he could easily just like, oh, if he's going to forward air or boomerang, he's going to land specifically here, in which I can actually whiff punish him for doing so. Ready? All right. But here we go into Dance. game three here. <laughs> that uh, M MFA just found a way to close it out. Uh, Kairos did a really, really good job of uh, finding a way to kind of make that more competitive, though. I mean, that's twice now they lost an early stock, and twice um, made a really good run. Just one of them ended up with the result they wanted, and the other not so much. Yeah. Oh, you can see that immediately the second Kairos gets one of those projectiles, he tries to come in close as possible, deal the down tilt. Usually an opportunity where it's really safe, really fast, kind of changing up from things like jab. You can either jab or down tilt, and then down tilt you can confirm some things like hero spin, especially if you go in the air. Here we go, Kairos gonna... Oh! <laughs> we didn't get a stock or anything, but man, what was that option? <laughs> All right, good bomb toss. I, I think like what Kairos is doing a little bit more is just trying to take center stage control rather than to be at the ledge and see what he can get against MFA, especially at these percents. He's trying to play it as safe as possible. Good opportunity to catch the landing there with the up tilt. Clean play from Kairos. Oh, nice. He wanted a hero spin just because it's a really pretty fast, good, good odd get off me option. One of like, I want to say like out of all the three links, I think they all have a pretty good hero spin out of shield. You just have to remember they commit to it and it's a, and it's pretty fast, but if they do not get a ride, they lose a lot of it. Down throw, nice. Double up smash. I was going to say double up smash from 43% MFA. I was looking to make sure Kairos doesn't get too much of a lead here. Okay, man, Discord just like destroyed itself. <laughs> I don't know what happened. All right. Yeah, Discord definitely 
Okay, so uh, yeah, this game looks as even as it's been so far in this set. Oh, there's another purple aerial. Oh, the snipe. Yeah, you always gotta be very careful of that when you're off stage. Really good Almar players are always looking out for that uh, side B snipe, the purple there. Oh, 45%. That's just huge for Almar here. Oh, wow. I can't tell if that was true or not that person, but it ended up working out. Okay, give me safely back up the percent. Nice, another great anti-air with the purple back air. It's really been doing a decent job of catching Kairos' jumping habit. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he just caught that bad angle from Kairos and just sat him down, man. That was crazy. Okay. Okay. Finally getting a counter pick here from Kairos. Potentially his last game of the tournament. Let's see if he can kind of get a little bit more of that flair he had from the first game coming into this game. Definitely looks like uh, MFA though has found a way to just hang back, avoid a lot of projectiles, and really just set up his Pikmin wall to rack up all his safe percent. Nice. Great cross the back air, sneak it in there, but oh, missing a tech on that. Dude, oh, another missed tech. Wow. That was crazy, dude. Man, such a good jab block. And having the perfect lineup to get the kill as well. Huge. It's a huge first stock. And already has 60%, man. Basically kill percent with the lineup he has right now. Low again. Yeah. He went really low to avoid getting sniped by the purple, but unfortunately he didn't have enough time for the bomb to explode. And just not close enough to make it back. Okay, finally. Getting that down to work. Still has is a uh, work cut out for me. He's gonna have to put in a lot of work to bring this one back. So far though, man, all percent getting racked up here. Missing, almost missing another tech. But uh, yeah, MFA's tech chases have been super on point. From the purple, almost dying and getting the snipe. This should be a f oh no, a little bit too late. But that was almost the easiest down air to close it out. MFA is man, man, it's so difficult right now. Carlos is gonna hang back. Give him a little bit of space in the ledge, see if he can get something to work. Catches the down smash on the roll, but still not enough to get the stock. Nope. No down air tech chase either. Trying to find a way to secure this stock safely, but man, it's looking so difficult right here. Nope, no tech chase. Alright, cool. <laughs> Man, it's so scary. He doesn't want to get grabbed, doesn't want to get hit by purple. He has to do so much to take the stock without 
losing his, but there's the down air. Still, so many things can kill him right now. Yeah, I'm yeah, curious yeah. as to how Kairos is going to bring this one back. You can yeah. see right here as well, MFA doesn't mind just hanging back. He'll take the arrows if that's what it comes down to, but he'll just keep you know throwing the Pikmin. And yeah, Kairos up all has to like, try to get an opening here just because like he knows. like I'm a 174. It's not out just yet, but if I do find something, I have to lead in very carefully. Because if I overcommit here, then I will just lose my stock to even an ult. That was a lot, even for Kairos. In a minute, though. That oh, no grab. Yeah, that was good, though, on Kairos. He angled the shield just in case something might have tried to shield poke. Yep. Oh my goodness, all the pigmen are getting destroyed right here, but he still has the one that matters, and that's the purple. Oh my goodness. Kairos literally playing such a dangerous game right here. There's the forwarder, though. Nagging the jump. Super hard comeback to come back from. But, uh... Yeah, MFA is going to take that one 3 1. Great stuff to Carlos, though, making top eight at MSM. I don't think he's gotten top eight at this tournament yet. No, no, I think 